What's up guys, it's your boy Hyrola. I know like you guys haven't seen me like in a while. I've been like so busy. And you know life has life has definitely taken like a very strange turn for me. Where at first it was kind of like, oh this sucks, like this is horrible. Um I don't know like how I'm gonna do it and you know, adapt to the different changes. Uh as like you guys as a lot of you guys may know, is that my wife had left me. Uh it was like random I was uh, I didn't cheat or anything like that she didn't cheat um, she was just unhappy and straight up she's just like out and it was pretty much like all of a sudden um, but I'm really really happy that she did because I I found this girl that I've I've been friends with her for like a really long time like you know a few years and you know she treats me like she treats me beyond like a king. Like I couldn't even ask for any more. And when like I get like into like a routine with her of like expecting the way that she's gonna treat me, she goes ahead and then she ups it even more. And then she treats me like better. I don't understand it. I because I'm gonna be 38, like here in a month. She's 23, and she is more of a woman than most women. Like a lot of women like she is so strong and so level-headed like you guys have seen her in my other videos and everything but anyways we're gonna get like right down to the nitty-gritty here brass taxes and that is how to how to deal with coming out of an abusive relationship well I know a lot of people especially like a lot of guys that I've been talking to lately uh, they're all like dude we understand like what you went through we go through the same thing and I'll straight up tell you like right now that my ex was very, very abusive to me. Um, she would constantly put me down. She was never supportive. She would always take my money. Uh, like I would go to bed with like two, three hundred bucks in my pocket. I wake up and I have like twenty dollars in there. And she's like, oh, hmm, I don't know. He. And then she would just like take it and gamble it. And, you know, she she was overweight. She was a smoker. Um, she had her addictions, things like that, but like in the same aspect, it's like I was never able to further ahead my future. I was never really able to get the things that I needed so that I can achieve the dreams I want to achieve. And now, like here I am and I don't have that anymore. Instead, I have a woman who's like, here, you want my paycheck? Here's my paycheck. Like, you know, and you know, she's like, do whatever with it because like I take care of her, you know, and she take she really really takes care of me like we still definitely take care of each other but the thing is is like when you're coming out of an abusive relationship okay is that like you have two choices my friend my friend Tim told me this and I'll never ever forget it um he's a very wise man uh he told me he said you know uh when you have gone through turmoil okay uh when when you've gone through bad things or bad situations, anything that's traumatic, um, you have two choices. You could either be a victim and live as a victim, or you could be a survivor. And I've chosen to be a survivor. Maybe it's just in my nature, um, but it was more easier for me to take everything, everything that I've learned in my past like relationship. I was with my ex for 19 years, and. You know, I was super duper good to her. I mean, you guys seen it on YouTube. Um, like, I did everything for that woman. She wouldn't lift a finger for me. She wouldn't clean up the house. She would just sit, watch Christmas movies all the time. Uh, I was always alone by myself. I'd have to go to the gym by myself. So I always took Savannah with me. Uh, like, the last, like, year of my marriage, that was when I was like, hey, I need, like, friends. And I met some, like, really, really super beautiful, super strong people at the gym. Um, one of my really good friends is, is, uh, Alicia. I met her. She's just fantastic. Like she's so motivated and very empowering. Um, I met my friend Jacqueline who recently was on stage in, um, in a fitness competition. She, and she got her pro card, like what an achievement, you know? And, you know, and then like I met my girl now, Alexa, I met her like a couple years ago, but like, we, like, really started, like, hanging out, you know? And, like, all these people are just, like, super great. And, like, my whole entire life, like, I've been, like, surrounded by, like, bad people. Like, I've been surrounded by, like, thugs, criminals, people who want to screw the other person over. You know, like, that's, like, the people that I was, 
like raised around and like it wasn't my mother's fault or anything my mom was just freaking fantastic but the men that are in my family are a little bit on the shady side definitely definitely embarrassing uh speaking about like men on the shady side and speaking about abuse okay i'm gonna open up right now to you guys and just tell you right now that i had i had sexual abuse happen to me uh i'm talking like straight like rape type stuff and a lot of men don't talk about this, but it's happened to so many people. And when I do open up and I do talk about it, like I found my ways to to deal with it on my own level. And it's very, it was very, very difficult. And when I started to look at these things, my like I had like anxiety for like a really long time. Uh, I never had support. I never had anybody be like, oh, okay, like let's talk because my wife didn't care because she was a selfish narcissist. You know, it'd be deal with that shit on your own. I don't care. Fucking kill yourself. Like, legit, not even kidding. You want to kill yourself? Go ahead and do it. Whatever. So, it wasn't like I wanted to kill myself. It was that, like, I was literally crawling on my skin, and I didn't understand why. Well, the reason why was because I was holding on to all of this bad baggage, and I was also in an abusive relationship with her, so that didn't help out either. So, she went ahead. She slept with a family member of mine who used to be my best friend. We used to be like this, Okay. And not only that, that family member was the one that sexually abused me. So it was like, bam, bam. It was like a one, two knockout to, to me, you know? And oh my God, it was like so horrible. But like, I forgave her. I tried to like make the marriage work, blah, blah, blah. And she would pin it on me and say that it was my fault. Well, that's because she's a narcissist. A narcissist person will never, ever, ever uh, take responsibility for their own actions. Now, was I in the wrong a few times in my marriage? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Nobody is perfect. Um, where did I screw up? Well, uh, one of my screw ups, I believe, was that I, I left her alone like the last like six months of my marriage. I was like, see ya. You know, I knew that my marriage was over. I knew that she didn't want to be with me. I didn't want to be with her. Uh, she started hitting me. She started throwing things at me. She, <laughs> oh my God, I'll never forget this. She picked up a heater that was plugged in our bedroom. And it was, it was on and she like threw it at my face while it was still plugged in. That one hurt. That sucked. But abuse is not just physical abuse, okay? Like she never became abusive for like the last like six months of our marriage. Well, physically abusive for like the last six months of our marriage. But before that, what I mean by abuse is like neglect, uh, being unsupportive, uh, being a thief, taking all my money uh, whenever I needed to pay bills or like if I needed to fix up the house or do something in the shop or whatever, it was just always gone, you know, like take, 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 take and leave me there like completely broke standing there, excuse my language, but with my dick in my hand, like literally we went 19 months without any intimacy at all. She was not an affectionate person. I would go over to her for a hug. She pushed me away. I go in for a kiss. She'd turn her face, you know, um, and she must've had her own demons that like I couldn't. I couldn't get through, obviously, but that type of stuff, like that neglect, makes a man feel this little. So, like, if you're a lady and, like, you're watching this, okay, let me tell you what, guys, work on your marriage, work on your relationship, be there for your man, just because he's, like, a big, like, masculine dude, okay? Like, I work on, like, cars, I lift every day, you know, I'm in the gym every day, um, I'm doing activities, like, I'm, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm, like, the ruggedest man in the world, but... I mean, like, I'm, like, remodeling my house. Like, I do, like, rugged stuff, you know. I could do cement work, tile work, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, my point is, is that, like, no matter, like, how big and masculine a man is, okay, he still has heart inside. And you ladies need to, like, always remember that, okay, that men cry too. Men hurt too. Even if they don't cry, they'll cry in the shower. They'll cry when they're taking a shit, okay. As a matter of fact, actually, that's why my wife left me was when I was actually taking a shit, um, she's just like, Hey, I'm out. I was like, okay, love you. See you later. She's like, no, like I'm out. Like I'm gone. And I'm like, okay. And I tried to like everything to like stop her to like, you know, but like you're taking a poop. So whatever. And she's just like, nope, peace out. You know? Um, so now like, now like she's moved on. She's like with a man and this man is a pile of crap and it's driving me crazy because of my daughter. I don't want my daughter around him. He's a crackhead. Um, he's been Narcan like two months ago. He's a thief. Uh, he keeps talking about like how he's Mr. Military and all this other crap. Uh, he was in the military for like a couple years and then he was, uh, he was incarcerated in the military. He was in jail, well, military jail, they call it Holden, uh, for crimes he had committed. Um, CPS has been called to his place a bunch of times. His ex-wife messaged me, told me how he's abusive and all this other crap. So, um, 
you know, those two, that's like a whole other situation. That's not like what this video is about. This video right here is about the abuse and how to deal with it. So one of the things is when I, when I talk about being a survivor as opposed to being a victim, what I'm talking about here is that, like, if you take everything that, like, all of your, like, abuse, okay? Like, think about it like you're, like, a kicked puppy, okay? Like, all the abuse, you know, like, you didn't have anybody there for you. You never had anybody cook for you. You never had anybody to actually, like, really share your thoughts with. Nobody cared, like, how my day was. You know, I could be, like, under a car, trapped under a car for days. Nobody would even check on me. I could be dead under there. Do you know the people who would check on me? Would be my friends. That's it. That's all. My mom. But, like... You know, she wouldn't, like, come out and check on me. Savannah probably would after a while because she'd be like, hey, like, where's Dad? Um, but that's, like, what Savannah... So, like, uh, the, the neglect, the put-downs, the verbal abuse, all that stuff, it's all abuse. It's very, very damaging to a man. So, are you going to sit there and you could dwell and dwell and dwell on it, okay? But the whole, like, reason why I'm making this video here, guys, is because I want to redirect your mind of thinking, Okay, I want to like redirect how to behave in a new relationship so that you can let go. Number one is I completely let her go. Like, <laughs> see you later, girl. Uh, especially after like being with Alexa. And Alexa, oh my God. Like, the other day I was out in the garage, right? And I come inside the house. This girl, uh, oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I went to the gym. That's right. I went to the gym with my friend, uh, my friend Luke. Love you, dude. And, like, we were working out together, and, like, we kept in contact with each other, her and I, you know. But then, like, we lost contact for, like, a little bit. So she calls up the gym. She calls up my friend Luke. She's, like, looking for me. She's, like, freaking out. Like, she's worried about, like, emergencies. Never once was I used to that. Never, ever once. And then, like, she finally, like, finds me or whatever, right? Because, like, she knew that I was on my way home. I walk inside the house. She's got my chicken on a plate cut up, bro. Like... She has my hot sauce there. She has my barbecue sauce. She has eggs made perfectly, perfectly. And this girl never, like, really even cooked. And she learned, like, how to make eggs the way that I like it, you know? And everything was just, like, it, like my diet's, like, kind of weird, but it's, like, high-protein stuff. But anyways, uh, it was, like, turkey bacon, eggs. It was um, my chicken. And it was just, like, all cut up. It was a bag of vegetables that she threw in the air fryer. It made it, like, so nice and crispy for me. Oh my God, whoa, whoa, where did that come from? Like, what did I do to deserve it? Like, I, I offer the best version of myself to Alexa. I'll offer the best version of myself as long as they're good to me. And she is beyond good to me. So like, gentlemen and ladies, to deal with this, you need to like let go of the past, let go of the ex, which I did. Okay, no problem, whatever. My main concern is my daughter. I don't want my daughter around this guy because he's a goddamn crackhead. I'm sorry, but I think I'm entitled to that. We'll deal with that legally in another way, not in this video. Um, so like with all of that being said, like a lot of people would be like, they put up like this wall and be like scared or be like, well, like, what's going on here? Some people may even sabotage the relationship because they're not used to being treated so well, you know? Where I was like, well, I'm going to feed into this and I'm going to appreciate this. And I'll, guys, straight up, I'll be honest with you, okay? When, I, when, when you've gone through everything that I've gone through and then all of a sudden, like, this, this woman pops into your life and doesn't, like, ever leave your side at all um, and she treats you well and she cooks you a dinner... That's like perfect. That uh, like fits your macros, fits your calories. She knows exactly what you eat every single night, you know. And she sat there at the dinner table with me. I'm talking like she had my fork on the side of the plate. She had my barbecue sauce just chilling there. She had my hot sauce on the other side. She had my water, nice and cold. Like, oh, oh my God! My wife never once ever did anything kind for me like that. Never once. And she was just, like, so heartless, you know? Uh, she has cats right now that are sitting in her old apartment with no heat, no electric. Talk about being heartless. She just abandoned them, you know? And that's just who she is. So abuse is not just being physical. Abuse is not just, like, getting hit, you know, or, you know, being tossed down a flight of stairs or, you know, whatever. Abuse is, like, you feel trapped. I felt completely trapped, and she made me feel trapped. Like, I couldn't do any better. That's the thing. I said to myself, if my own wife, after after 19 years, doesn't want me, 
who the hell in the world is going to want me? I don't understand it. And then this beautiful girl comes in and she's like, hey. Like, I was like trying to like get with her because I stayed in my house for like a month alone and that sucked. So I was like, hey, like, why don't you like move in? You know, we'll, we'll be friends and nothing, whatever, you know. And then I was like kind of like trying to make the moves on her a little bit. And she was like resisting it all because she didn't know if my ex was going to come back. Um, and then all of a sudden one day she's like, hey, like we were out riding bikes together. And she's like, hey. She's like, I really like you a lot. We'd be my boyfriend. And I was like, uh, yeah. Like, and it was like such a shock. And I was telling her last night, like, I can remember like everything about it. So back to like this video here is about how to deal with the abuse. Is it's just, you got to let go guys. You got to move on. Take everything that you have gone through, all the bad, all the turmoil, everything, and allow another person into your life. You have to let your wall down. And when that person treats you the way that you deserve to be treated, then my God, you're going to feel like a whole new person. You're going to feel so unstoppable. Like all of my dreams are coming true right now because I have a chick that's at my side. Now, like a lot of a lot of women will sit there. I just made a Facebook post about this last night. A lot of women will sit there and they'll try to be like, oh, I, I got my man's back. I got my king, blah, 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 blah. But then like when shit gets tough, they cut and run. When shit gets tough... Alexa would not leave my side. She grabs me and holds me and pulls me like super close because she got me. All right. Um, last night I had like a little like confrontation. Like it wasn't even a confrontation, but I confronted I confronted my ex's boyfriend because he was like really threatening to kill me and all this other crap. My daughter was over there and he was just being like just scum, you know. So I went to his house and I was like, what's up? And he didn't even, like, come outside. He just, like, wanted no part of it. And it wasn't like that I was, like, trying to be there to fight him. It's just that, like, if you're going to be a tough guy, talk talk tough to my face. Okay? Be a man about it. But he couldn't. He was just like, ha, 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 ha. Just laughing, probably, because he was, like, on, he was cracked out. So, um, like, when I went up there, Alexa was just like, I ain't leaving your side. She got right up there. She stayed out of the way just in case if anything happened but you know what though like she was like right at my side and like I said like I didn't go there I didn't go there to fight the guy because I'm so much bigger than that like you know you don't need that kind of stuff but uh if somebody like starts talking trash to you in a text message then by all means get your ass to them talk to them face to face and say okay who are you like what's the real version of you and he like cowered like right back down so he's he's still messaging me today like ding 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 like freaking phone doesn't stop with this guy and like he's telling me like how i'm like a scumbag and i got a dirty house and blah 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 you know so i'm just like whatever bro like i know what i have right now in my life and there is no comparison and he's trying to tell me like my daughter's my daughter loves him more than me and she's happy there and like, yeah okay we'll find out but anyways so allow allow yourself to to let go of everything and allow yourself to be with the person that you really really love Give that person a chance. Open up to them. Be honest to them. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, like if you have a problem in your relationship, by all means, talk about it. If you want out of your relationship, leave the relationship. Don't sit there. You're never, ever trapped. And it took me a really long time to learn that because all these years I felt trapped. I didn't want to be with her. 15 years was when like things started getting like really, really bad. So we only had like three decent or... Yeah, like three or four like decent years. So like I didn't want to be with this woman for like 15 years, but I felt trapped. And she kept me trapped until she decided that she was done with me. And now she's like moved on to a different dude. Whatever. I don't care about that part. But um, it was just like so heartless. And it was so like damaging the whole entire relationship. But I found my way to deal with it. And my way is is just let it go. Okay, breathe through it. And if you really, really want to get back to your ex, do it the best way that you possibly can. Get happy. Be super duper happy and flaunt it. Focus on your relationship. Focus on whatever your dreams are. So you know what? I'm going to be the most biggest successful person that I could ever be. I'm going to push myself to the limits. I'm going to have my Alexa at my side 110%. And we're going to, do, we're going to be everywhere, man. We're going to like travel the world. And we're going to do vacations. Uh, we're going to just be a very, very happy, happy couple. You know, we're going to be a very, very happy, powerful couple. And you got to see like the way that she is. Oh my God. 
Like she is a hundred percent like down for like anything, whatever. And she's left she's left me in charge of like a lot of things. And and it's a lot of trust and it's a lot of respect and I can, I can promise her man I'll never ever damage anything that we have because she ain't going nowhere I can tell you guys that right now so you guys got to go after your dreams dream huge you want a Ferrari in your garage find a way to get the Ferrari you want a bigger garage you just want to pay your bills find a way to pay your bills get off your ass it's time for you to live okay don't be don't be held back anymore because you guys are if if I could do everything that I've achieved in my life, you guys can do it too. So I just I just wanted to like make this video just to empower you. That's it. Jet. That's it. Like everything I've been through: sexual abuse, abusive relationship with my ex, a cheater, a liar, a thief. Okay, a woman that had addictions. All these years. Okay, a taker, just straight up abuser, made me feel this tall every single day. I lost 205 pounds, guys naturally okay not ever once did i ever get a hey i'm proud of you not ever once did i ever get a good job instead i got dirty ass looks and it made her more and more insecure uh even though like i said like i never cheated on her never although like i had like reasons to we went 19 months of no intimacy and that was just whatever and i was always very very good to her for sure but now that i got my alexa and she's shining, man. Like the way that she takes takes so much pride in me, it's so different because she takes pictures, she puts them on Facebook, Instagram, everything. She talks me up, she brags to her coworkers about me. Where my ex used to be like, oh, my husband's a piece of shit because he ain't making enough money. Well, when you're taking seven vacations a year and you're gambling your money away, when is enough? When you're chasing new kids on the block and boys to men and doing all this crap, you know, when you're shopping every single day and you're buying cigarettes and you're buying gas, when is it enough? It'll never be enough. So if you're with a narcissistic person, if you're with an abuser, if you're with uh, a person that's just damaging, toxic, literally toxic, get out of that relationship immediately. You guys can do it. Don't be scared. Stand up on your own two feet. Take, take all your fears that you have and all the emotional bad baggage that you have and just put it someplace else and use it to empower you because that's exactly what I'm doing and I'll be honest with you guys I've been one hurt unit all right I have I have a lot of pain that I went through all these years and I'm turning it into success so where do you think I'm going to be like within the next like two years hell yeah talk about being excited I love you guys by all means please be sure to like share and subscribe on this video leave your comments at the bottom reach me on Facebook Instagram Twitter Snapchat and TikTok I freaking love TikTok oh my god I have so much fun on there all right so anyway guys please stay strong please stay strong and just know that you are worth way more than you can ever imagine I love you guys very much be positive and enjoy your Sunday peace